Hey guys, this is Ulrit from Nostalgic Mathematics. Today we will try to find the equation of cycle inscribed in the triangle whose sides are lines L1, 3x plus 4y equals 43, L2, negative 4x plus 3y equals 26, and L3, y equals minus 2. We have four options and we will try to find the right one. If you are new here, do not forget to subscribe. We are given those three lines, L1, L2, and L3. We call this triangle ABC, where A is the common point of the lines L1 and L2, B the common points of L1 and L3, and C the common point of L2 and L3. To find the coordinates of A, we solve the following system of equations. Actually, this is the equation of L1, and this is the equation of L2. We find XA, is 1 and ya is 10. We do the same for b and then xb is 17 and yb is minus 2. And again for c, xc is minus 8 and yc is minus 2. So we have those coordinates for the point a, b, c. Next we focus on the vectors supporting the triangle. So we first start by bc. So bc is going to be negative 25, 0. And for AC, we will have minus 9 and minus 12, which is factored as follow. For AB, we're going to have 16 and minus 12. We can factor as this. What is interesting is that those vectors 3, 4, and 4 minus 3 have the same length, which is 5, because we know this classical rectangle triangle whose sides have length 3, 4, and 5. So A, which is BC, is going to be 25, and B is going to be 3 multiplied by 5, which is 15, and C is going to be 4 times 5, which is 20. So that's why we use the most important formula of this problem. This is the formula relating the coordinates of the center of the inscribed sequel and the original triangle coordinates. This is the formula here. So we replace. You know that a over a plus b plus c is going to be 5 over 12 because a is 25 and this sum is 60. So 25 over 60 is 5 over 12. Actually, we simplify by 5. And you do the same for this ratio, which is 1 over 4, and that other ratio, which is 1 over 3. And we know the coordinates of a, b, c. So simplifying, we know that the coordinates of i is 2 and 3. Next, we need to know also the radius of this sequel. We use, we use this formula because r is going to be the distance between i and the line L3 or L2 or L1. But here, we choose L3 because it is even faster to compute. Because actually, the equation here is y plus 2 equals 0. That's why we have this absolute value and we have one coefficient 1. So it is the square root of 1 square. So replacing we have 5 because this is going to be 5 in the numerator and 1 on the denominator. So R is 5. Now we have all the elements we want. So we can have the equation of this sequel. And it is given as follow. So we replace x, y, and y, i, and R by the values to have this. We expand the formulas. And then if we just past 25 to the left, we have this following equation and the right answer was C. Thank you for your attention. Again, do not forget to subscribe, like, share, and post your comments. Bye.